Hello guys, welcome to my presentation. My name is Zian. Uh, I'm a senior student at University of Michigan. My major is computer science. So uh, for this project, uh, for this presentation, uh, I'm talking about my honors capstone project. This project is in partnership with multidisciplinary design program, and this project is sponsored by Little Caesars. So Little Caesars strives to make the perfect pizza at every place and every time. However, uh, it's easy to make one perfect pizza, but when it comes to thousands of pieces, uh, it's really hard to maintain the consistency in quality and in guarantee best pizza every time. So Little Caesar tries very hard uh, to solve this problem. One of the way that Little Caesar tries to uh, tackle this problem is to build a automatic pizza quality checking system. So here comes our project. Our project uses computer vision and image processing technique to build such a system. So uh, due to the confidentiality uh, reasons, I cannot share too much details on this, but basically uh, we will have a camera installed uh, in Little Caesars store. And then this camera will take pizza picture and then it will upload the image to the system that we developed. Um, and then the system will run the image analysis in the back end. And then afterwards, uh, the system will provide appropriate feedback for the Little Caesars employees. So for example, if this pizza is perfect, it will just say that this pizza is ready to serve. And for, for example, if this pizza is a bad pizza, like a burnt pizza or something, uh, the system will tell the employee that this pizza is burnt and then it needs to be uh, made again. Uh, and for another example, if this system, if this pizza is a pepperoni pizza, and it has a bad distribution of the toppings. Uh, maybe like the uh, toppings, pepperonis are not evenly distributed, or maybe like the numbers are like too little, or like uh, there are too many pepperonis. Uh, the system will tell the employee that the distribution is bad, and then it will give specific uh, feedbacks on how to, uh, how to improve the, on the pizza. So the way our team approached this, um, problem is that we divide our team into three sub teams. So the first sub team is data team, which is uh, responsible for collecting all the different sorts of images. So they collected non-pizza images, pizza images, like burn pizza images, uh, pepperoni pizza images, cheese pizza images, um, and then they were organizing it uh, in a, a, a professional way that the model team can use. So yeah, speaking of model team, model team is the second sub team that we have, and model team is responsible for building a, um, a computer vision model for uh, the whole system. And then finally, afterwards, we have our UI team, which is the user interface team. And user interface team is responsible for building a user-friendly web application, which just incorporate all these functionalities. Um, so finally, our um, result is uh, the accuracy is 85%. Uh, we know that this might be, not be ideal, but it was still a really big accomplishment um, since the beginning. So our teams and sponsors are all really happy with this result. So what we learned. Um, so uh, the first thing we learned is to uh, understand sponsors' requirements. Um, so uh, only after we have a deep understanding of uh, the requirements, uh, we can like make a better project strategy and then plan ahead. So in our project, we were um, spending the first couple of weeks just like talking with the sponsors and then understand what they need, what are the project objectives, what are the things that are in the scope, and then what are the requirements that are out of the scope. Uh, and it really helps. Uh, we, we just like divide our team um, according to the uh, sponsor's requirements and then we make the strategy according to the uh, according to the project objectives. So that's the first thing we learned. The second thing is to communicate regularly within the team. Uh, so uh, it might be it seems a little bit uh, obvious, but the fact that the fact was that uh, our team didn't do this very well uh, in the first half of the project uh, because uh, as I said, we divide our team into three sub teams, and then each of the sub team has their own goal, and then their goals are kind of separated. Um, so that's why at first we didn't um, communicate too much within the team, but we figured out later that uh, 
teams, uh, sorry, team members that are in other team, uh, other sub team, uh, might have also an insight in what we are doing. Um, but they will prob probably provide more like professional uh, advice uh, based on what they are doing, and that might be helpful for for us. So afterwards, uh, we were keeping uh, every team member updated on what we are doing. So every week uh, in the week, we will have like two hours meeting uh, with the sponsors and faculty. And in the weekend, we will have one another uh, meeting, just one hour uh, purely with the team members. We will, cut, uh, we will tell each other what we are doing and then what we need help. Um, so yeah, so that's the second thing we learned. And the last thing was um, present the result in an easier and more understandable way. So uh, in this project, our sponsors might not have um, as much knowledge as we have in this project because we develop this project from the ground up. So it comes really, it becomes really important to present the results and data in an understandable way. Uh, so every week before our sponsors meeting. Uh, we will pr provide, we will prepare a slide. Um, yeah, uh, and then we are thinking very hard like how we should organize the, the result. Uh, is, is this, should it be like a plot or should it be a, um, a table or should it be like a pie chart or is it just gonna be like a pure uh, bullet points? Uh, so we think it really hard uh, to organize our data uh, and results uh, to make our uh, sponsors better, better understand our weekly progress. And by making the slides every week, we also kind of reflect on what we have done last week and then we'll um, have a uh, better goal in our mind for the next week. Yeah, so basically that's what we learned um, in this project. Uh, this was definitely an amazing journey. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you guys very much for uh, coming to my presentation and again special thanks to Little Caesars and Multidisciplinary Design Program. Yeah, thank you.